today I'm going to talk about the three types of grip. Yes, there are actually three different types of grips that you can use when you play the game of golf. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And today we're talking about the importance of having a good grip. Now I know it's not really exciting, but the truth of the matter is, is that if you hold the club correctly, you got a better chance to make a good quality golf swing. So let's dive into the three types of grips that are available to you, maybe a benefit and a drawback with each one of those, and a couple other quick tips, hopefully, uh, that we can share with you at the end. Now, if you want more information, you know, uh, in-depth information on the grip or other swing tips, be sure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, man, I strongly encourage that you do that because we are putting out great information on a regular basis. And last but not least, be sure to leave a comment or a question. I can tell you this, I literally answer almost every question that you put in there. We do our best to do that. So let's dive right in. We gotta talk about the grip, some different options. So we've got three options. We've got what we call 10 finger, we've got an overlap, and we've got an interlock grip. Those are the three different ones that we have. Now, let's start with the 10 finger. Now the reason I wanna start with the 10 finger grip is because this is a grip uh, that a lot of people use when they're new to the game, when they're little kids. So if, if, if you have uh, a son or a daughter or somebody in your life who's playing golf for the first time, maybe they're five, six, seven, eight years old, the 10 finger grip is a good option for them because in the 10 finger grip, it, it allows them to hold onto the club a little bit easier. All right, they don't have a lot of strength, all right, but they can hold onto the club and move the club a little bit easier at an early age. This is also a relatively uh, popular grip with a lot of females because once again, maybe they don't have the strength in their forearms or their hands like, like some men do, but it allows them to still do some good things with the golf club. And also on a side note, I hadn't actually thought about uh, even talking about this, but if you slice the golf ball, I'll show you at the end of the video, a little tip on that, the 10 finger grip might actually help you cure that slice. So those are some of the people who might benefit from the 10 finger grip. What is the 10 finger grip? So here's what it is. As the word implies, you've got all 10 fingers on the golf club. So I'm a right-handed golfer. So my left hand, my lead hand is in the glove. I'm gonna put that on the top. My bottom hand, my right hand, of course, goes on the bottom, but all 10 fingers are on the club. Now here's the thing I want you to note, because this is the mistake a lot of people make with the 10 finger grip. Make sure that your bottom hand, that's for me my right hand, covers the lead thumb. So that's my left thumb. So my right hand covers my left thumb. If you start separating your hands like this, we're gonna have problems. All right, so make sure that you got the hands together. That's a consistent theme you're gonna hear throughout this video. All right, and then last but not least, Feel like the club's a little bit more in your fingers. You do not want the club in your palm. So recap, 10 finger grip, very popular with young kids and females. Maybe in somebody, if you slice it a little bit, we'll talk about that at the end of the video. Make sure that the hands are together and make sure you're holding the club in your fingers. Now the second grip, and this is the grip that I personally teach most often uh, to somebody uh, who's a real avid golfer. Somebody who wants to play golf at their highest level and that is the overlap grip. Now the overlap grip, the only difference really between the 10 finger and the overlap grip is you actually have a finger that overlaps. So once again, my right hand, I'm a right-handed golfer, so my right hand, the pinky of my right hand overlaps and rests in between the two fingers on my top hand, the glove hand here, and it just rests right in between there. That's how we define the overlap grip. Now, who might use the overlap grip and what are the benefits to using the overlap grip? Well, I think, uh, I mean, of course, most golfers, I think, probably use the overlap grip. That's what I use, that's what we teach. So I think if you went to the, to the golf course and you did a random poll, I mean, I don't have hard numbers, but most men, most better golfers would use the overlap grip. Now, the benefit of using the overlap grip, in my opinion, is that it joins the hands together. You remember our conversation about the 10 finger grip and making sure that the hands are together? The biggest mistake people make, I think with the grip, is they get their hands separated. So in the overlap, because the pinkies rest right in there, all right, then the hands are nice and together. So now my right hand, my bottom hand, can cover my top thumb nice and easy, and they're together. Now the other key component I'm gonna give you on the overlap grip is just, you know, just make sure that you feel like the club is also in your fingers. Okay, and as I said earlier, 
we've I've done a, a couple different videos that dive in depth on the specifics of the grip. That's not what we're doing here today. If you want information, you you know, subscribe to the channel, check out our website at usgolftv.com uh, where we have some great articles on that. Now, the third one is what we call the interlock grip. Now, <laughs> let me say this first of all: some of the best players in the world, okay, have used the interlock grip. So it's it's a it's a valid grip. All right, so what's the difference? Well, as an interlock, as the word says, in an interlock grip, once again, this pinky right here actually interlocks with the top hand. So it kind of comes in here and it actually interlocks. And once again, it kind of joins the hands together. Now, this is a popular grip for a lot of people who, I don't know, maybe they have uh, uh, smaller hands or shorter fingers. Some people kind of, who I seem like, who have those types of characteristics like an interlock grip because I think it feels like they can maybe hold it a little bit better. But once again, it's a very viable grip and can work for a lot of people. Now the thing that you gotta watch out for when you interlock, this is important, when you use an interlock grip, make sure that when you interlock it, that the club does not slide up into the palms of the hands. That's the one thing, and quite honestly, that's why I like to teach the overlap grip, okay, versus the interlock. But if you do use the interlock grip, make sure that the club does not slide up too much into the palm. Anytime the club gets into the palms of the hand, I don't care if you're using 10 finger grip, uh, overlap or interlock, it's a bad situation. So that would be the third one that I would give you. So those are the three. You got 10 finger, really popular with juniors and females. You've got the overlap, which is kind of your standard, probably most used grip. And then you've got the interlocking grip, which a lot of people like, maybe if they have smaller hands or their fingers are kind of shorter, those types of things. Now, I promised you earlier that I would give you a tip if you slice a golf on why the 10 finger grip might help you. Now this, I'm, let me say this, if, if you're slicing the golf ball, there could be a multiple reasons why, um, and we've got a ton of different information on the slice, actually, it's one of my favorite topics, but if you do slice a golf ball and you try the 10 finger grip, what it actually would make easier, allows you to do is actually allows you to rotate the club face. So you can kind of rotate your forearms, that allows you to close the club face a little bit and get that ball hopefully straight or turning over a little bit. Now, that's not really a long-term fix for the slice, I have to say that, but it's a nice quick fix if you're like, man, Todd, I slice a golf ball, I don't like to practice, try the 10 finger grip, it might help you square the club face up just a little bit. So hopefully that information helps you understand how to actually hold the golf club and start playing some better golf. And if you want more information on how to play better golf, check out greatgolftipsnow.com. I've taken the time to put together video series on driving, chipping, bunkers, you name it, it's all encompassing. It's all free, it's some of my best advice and can help you play better golf. It's called greatgolftipsnow.com. Be sure to check it out and also be sure to subscribe and be sure to leave a comment because we do our best each and every day to help you play better golf and we're gonna constantly put forward information that's gonna help you enjoy the game a little bit more.